Hi, this is Happy Bird from Happy Birds Glitter Nest .com. and today we're going to play around with these extra large tags and um, I made a, a pattern for you so I'll give that information in a moment. Now I'm using this as a gift card holder. I thought it would be really cute. I put a little mini peppermint pop in here and I'll also tell you where I got that a little more um, later on in the video. So I just thought this turned out really cute and it was fun. I was able to use up some of my uh, Christmas materials and this is something that you can either hang on a tree or just give to the person like this. So I hope you stay tuned for this video and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so to start, I have um, a tag pattern for you that I made, and it's actually a hair over four and three fourths inches tall by three inches wide. So it's nice and large. You can see by how it fits in my hand. And I'll put that link down below in the show more drop down bar below this video, as well as on my blog. And you can print it out and staple it to a piece of sturdy. Um, cardboard and just cut it out and then that way you'll have a nice pattern that you can use and when I trace um, these out on cardboard I generally use a mechanical pencil because you can really get in close to the edges so you can see in the back I used a nice sturdy box that I had um, when I bought uh, a package of six Ghirardelli chocolate brownie mixes. So I just use this. But you can look around for things in your cupboard and any kind of food boxes that are nice and sturdy you can use. And um, then you're going to need some wrapping paper. Now I love to use the shiny holographic foil type paper. This is a sample of something that I bought at Walmart, and I really like the pattern of the wrapping paper. And you can also use something like this. This is also another Walmart roll of wrapping paper. Thought that was pretty. And you can also use something like this. I thought that would make a really pretty little tag. Okay. So I think I'm going to use this one today. So now this has it's double sided, which is really nice. I didn't realize that when I bought it. And it was really cheap. It was two forty seven for um a whole roll and I think there was like three and a half yards on it but it was a tall roll so we're going to need some Elmer's glue stick or the Elmer's craft bond stick either one's fine and I'm just going to put quite a bit of it on there oh. Making sure to get the corners like so. And then I'm just going to lay it down like that and just press it down. And let's see. And I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to rough cut this out. And then I'm just going to lay my blades against the tag and just cut it like that. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. And this is a great little project to 
use your um, leftover Christmas supplies, wrapping paper. Of course, it doesn't have to be holographic, but I just like that because I like sparkle. If you've been following me for any amount of time, you know I love bling and sparkle. <laughs> I know I'm a little slow. I was trying to see because the, the lamp is has kind of a glare on this, so it was a little hard to see where I was cutting on the edges. Okay, and then I'll do the same thing on this side. Make sure this is nice and even. So you can always go back and put in a little more glue if you need to. What I love about this project is that there really isn't any right or wrong way to do this. It's whatever you want to do. And I made these tags so you can make nice clean cuts around the edges. Okay. There we go. And now what I do is I just kind of feel around as to where the hole was. I can feel it perfectly right here. And I just kind of make a little indent. And then I come in with my hole puncher. And then put it right there. There we go. Punched a little hole there. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to put the um, the wide wire ribbon around the front and wrap it around the back and that part will hold our gift card. So you can use any kind of two and a half inch wide ribbon that you'd like. Now some of them are full on glitter um, and some of them are sheer. So I'm going to show you how to put the sheer kind on because that will be the one that you'll probably have the most questions about. So I cut this to be about eight and a half inches and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of find where the middle of the ribbon is and make a little bend here on each side like that and we're making the bends there so it will give us kind of an idea 
of where to decorate in the middle here without going over that edge. And mind you, this is only for the sheer ones because we have to put on any kind of decoration beforehand. If we try to put it on with any kind of hot glue after we put this on, of course it'll seep through the ribbon and attach to the tag, and we don't want that. So what I'm using today to decorate mine with are some cute Dollar Tree stickers, Christmas stickers. You can tell I've already used some. And I think I might do hmm, maybe this little elf here. So even though it has sticky stuff on the back, I'm still going to put a little bit of hot glue. And I might place this little guy right about here. Like that. And then maybe a little Christmas tree next to him. That would be cute. And then I'll set that here, like so. And let's see, hmm, maybe a little, I don't know if I have room for the present, but I'll see if, if I do. Do I have room for a present? Hmm. Maybe so. Maybe just a little bit. I probably could have moved the tree a little closer to the elf, but I think it'll be cute. I don't think anybody's going to complain. <laughs> okay. And so I think that looks cute right there. I think we do have a little candy cane and a little snowflake type thingy. I can put that at the top. I love these Dollar Tree stickers when they come out during the holiday seasons. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So like I said, you're not going to see the back after, after we put this on anyway. So just make sure that all the glue is completely dry, which I'm going to do now. I'm going to blow on it. going to bend these back where we had them. As you can see, we already have that bend that we know exactly where to, where to do that. Okay. All right. And so what I'm going to do next is take my little glue gun, my Sure Bonder glue gun, and I'm just going to put a little glue all the way bottom here, all the way across. Very edge. And I'm just going to place that like so. Right on the edge. And if you don't have a sure bonder glue gun where it makes a narrow um, line, um, you can just take your regular glue gun and just barely squeeze the trigger when you're applying the hot glue at the bottom there and it should make a little more of a narrow line for you. Okay, so this is what we have so far. So now we have to turn it over in the back. And I'd like to overlap it a little bit like that. And um, 
for this part here, we don't really have to worry about um, this being closed at the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit here and then a little bit here. And then just continue to bend that right over. And I like to line up the bottom first and then do the top. Like so. Okay, so there we have the back part and the front part. Now we're not done yet. I cut out, out of wrapping paper, a little thing that says Merry Christmas. Now you can check your wrapping paper and find all kinds of words that you can use or sayings. But I found this on a different roll of wrapping paper. And yeah, it's fairly large, but I figured what I could do just kind of place this towards the middle and just fold this over on the edge like that. Thought that might be cute. Maybe put it down a little ways like so. So I'm going to do that. So you can see that I already bent it so I know where the edges are. I'm just going to take my, my glue stick and I'm not worried so much about the middle as I am the edges. Because that's what you really want to tack down anyway the most. Are those edges. Okay. Put this right back in here where I had it originally. Slide it on down. Make sure I get that. I don't want it to be. Here, let me, let me push that down a little more. Okay, that looks about right. So I'm just going to flatten that out. There we go. This and then I'm going to take one of the little bows that I made, I'm not sure which size yet. And if you didn't catch my fun foam bow making tutorial, I have a pattern for this as well. Um, and I'll also put that down in the show more drop down bar as well as on my blog, just in case you missed it. I figured I could do something like this at the top. That would be cute. I don't know if I want to use this size or this size. Hmm. Probably the larger one. So I'm going to put some hot glue here in the back. And put my little bow embellishment right here. And I know it's not perfect, but I still think it turned out really cute. Um, this, I'm going to put a little more of the glue in here. Hold on. I think the Elmer's Craft Bond glue works, pro would probably work a little better than just the regular Elmer's glue, but will do it for now. Okay. There we go. That's a little better, isn't it? All right. Now you can if you want. You don't have to, but you can if you want. You, can, you might even want to put a little couple, you know, bells at the top or something like that. So I'm just going to take a piece of this iridescent white cord that I found hanging up in the bead section at Walmart. And I'm going to see if I can put a couple of 
Dollar Tree bells on there. And I like to cut this nice and long. I thought this might be kind of cute. I have to cut that there. Start to unravel a little bit. So you can do one of two things if you have a string that wants to unravel. You can dip this in something like a Mod Podge, just the end, and let it dry on both ends. Or you can um, tie a little overhand knot right at the end here on both ends. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, since I already slid the bells on, just going to line that up here, and then maybe put this, these two pieces, oops, these two end pieces through the hole, and put this through here, and give it a tug. down a little low. Yeah. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to get the gift card and I might even put a little extra in it. So hold on. Okay, so I'm going to stick this $25.99 only store gift card in here. You can either put it right here um, I know it'll cover up the Merry Christmas sign, but if you wanted to, you could always slide that in the back as well. So, um, you know, it's your choice. I think, I don't know, well, I'll have to decide on that in a moment. I bought this bag of 34 peppermint flavored little mini pops at the 99 cent store and I thought it was a pretty good deal for 34 of them. They're really cute. So I'm just going to tie a little bow with this narrow ribbon here. I think this is like the 1 8 inch wide ribbon. And scoot it up the top. Just put a little bow in here. Nothing fancy. Can't get my fingers to work this morning. It's been cold, which doesn't help. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. You can put a little lollipop in here. Like that. I think I'm just going to put this on the front no matter what. I think it would still look cute. And the person's name will be on um, the gift card. So you can hang this up on a tree or you can give it just like this. And if you'd like to put to and from on it, you can do that in a couple of ways. You can go on, um, go to your computer on Word and type out in a really cute little font to and from and then punch that out and just take your glue stick and glue it on the back here. Or you can um, look at your peel and stick to and from labels that you put on your Christmas presents. And we always have some that are a little plainer that we maybe avoid. Um, you can put that on the back here. But I didn't want to do that because if the person wanted to use this again for someone else the next year, they could. And like I said, the name will all already be on the back of the, the gift card. I usually use um, the Sharpie pens, the fine tip Sharpie pen. And I usually put to and from on any little space I can find in the back. Um, these are for the cards, you know, that, that are um, this size. So anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this. This wasn't anything fancy, but this was just kind of like a fun little craft. Give you a little bit of an idea of just different things that that you can do um, to make these these little tags so I hope you have fun with the tags decorate them any way you want and I'd love to see them um, if you come to my Facebook page then all you have to do is just message me with your photos and I can post them um, or you can post them yourself and they'll, they'll show up um, in an area where I can see them, and I'll just go ahead and, and post them for you. But um, I hope you enjoyed this. And you take care, and Merry Christmas, each and every one of you. Bye-bye. And God bless.